Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we're going to be creating some dynamic overlay materials in Unreal Engine. In this video, we'll create a few variations of these materials so you can bring your games and your scenes to life. Before we get started, I want to remind you that the textures we'll be using are available for free on my Patreon page. And the full project files will be available to exclusive members. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Let's go ahead and dive in. So in this project, like I said, we're gonna be using a couple of textures that I've already created here, um, just to show you how to make these um, materials here. And these are pretty simple materials. I just have this kind of smoky uh, noise material that I'll be using, as well as a just a line that I created that is uh, scrollable. Um, I created this in GIMP. I did this in another video, uh, really easy to make. Uh, you can make your own pretty simple and I can show you real quick uh, kind of how to do that if we open up GIMP here. And all we're gonna do is go to File, New, um, any kind of size you want, it honestly doesn't matter. I'm going to do something that's square though and do a 1024 by 1024. And for this, I just want to grab a brush and we want to make it a lot smaller. And I'm just going to kind of draw on a line here. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And once you get one, you can kind of do whatever you want uh, to your image and you don't have to do a line. That's just what I'm doing for this. So feel free to make any kind of uh, texture that you want here. Um, really, it's just, it's going to look, or you can make it look good uh, either way. So um, after that, I'm going to grab my smudge tool over here. And you can kind of just smudge this as much as you want to make it look more natural. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, the less perfect it is, usually it can look pretty cool. So just something like that would look good for what uh, we're doing in this video. Um, this might be close to scalable uh, already just because I drew it to try to end near this line. But if it's not, uh, one thing you can do, um, if you go to Layer and Transform and you want to offset this, and what we want to do is offset this since nothing's crossing over um, on the width, we want to offset the height by half. And you can see where this would have had a hard line to make it not scrollable. Uh, let's go ahead and hit OK on this. And to fix that, there's multiple things you can do. But um, I like to start with the smudge tool and just kind of like push it in the correct directions uh, to get them to smudge across. You can draw more lines in there. Um, also, using the blur helps quite a bit as well and kind of blur it together. Um, you can go through and kind of draw some more hard lines through here and then grab that smudge tool. And kind of uh, re-smudge it where you want it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect and something like this is, will already look uh, scalable. It'll, as you're panning through this, you won't see that hard line. Um, so that's a, a good way to do it. And then I like to, I didn't really make any changes here, but I like to go ahead and offset it again, get it back to its normal um, setup and make sure there are no other hard lines in the middle now. And you would just save this down as a PNG, import it into your project, and that would be good for what we're doing. Um, for now, I'm just going to use this one that I already have. Um, the next thing, let's talk about just the basic overlay first. Um, real simple. And instead of just making these, I'm just going to kind of show how I made it. Um, again, real simple, using a Fresnel node to get this cool uh, fade um, here. If you see that how we change these, um, one has no change at all. And then as you go up, it, that line gets harder. So 
a lot of ways to mess with that. I'm also using parameters here so that in my material instance, once I make one, I can change all this and make it um, quick to change. Um, changing that ref uh, reflection fraction is also affects how much is on the inside of this. So another little node to play with. Um, that's really a basic overlay material. And if I go to my character, well, if I uh, make a material instance of this, let's say create material instance, and I'm just going to call this test um, overlay one. And then let's open that up. And in here, um, since we're using parameters, we can come in and change this. Maybe we want this to be blue. And a little, uh, change these numbers a little as well, uh, just to get it to where, where it looks good on for what you need in your game. Uh, the next thing, let's go to our character. And the best thing, quickest way to do this is to find, I just search overlay. It's typically pretty far down the list. So just search overlay, find your overlay material. And here, let's set it to our, uh, test overlay one. And then whenever I play this, we'll see it on our character. So pretty cool, simple effect. Uh, this would look good if you pick up an item and this temporarily plays over your character, make them glow or all kinds of cool stuff you can do with it. Um, we can also make some changes here. That way it doesn't cover the whole body, just kind of the outline of it. So pretty cool little uh, thing there. Uh, the next style that I want to show is I made a um, one using a texture. Really simple here. Um, just using a texture sample and a panner and having this um, smoke noise kind of scroll through. So you see it going there again, using parameters so that we can change them in our material instances and also still using that Fresnel so that we get that outline with some uh, invisible in the middle. Um, if we go to make a material instance of this one, test overlay two, and inside of this one, let's go ahead and turn all these on. Um, let's change this color to like a red maybe. And again, you could change the panning. I'm gonna keep it moving how it is, but um, let's um, change our characters overlay to that. And then we'll see what this one looks like. So again, pretty cool there. You can see some of the dynamic movement um, from that smoke that it's panning through. And if we go make some changes to this now, let's try to get it to uh, cover more of the character. And we can actually pan this one a little faster too, just to see the difference here. So there's that one. And then the last one that I created is a multicolor um, here. Or sorry, not the multicolor yet. I actually do have two different ones to show, sorry. Um, we have the basic texture. Um, I'm actually using a setup that I've created in another video. Uh, we'll kind of talk about it. Um, but basically, I have that same line texture that I'm using um, that I showed you how to create in GIMP. Uh, we're panning through that with an X and Y speed. Um, I'm kind of just doing some weird things here with it to um, get some pretty cool um, motion out of it.
I think that'll look good for now there. Uh, using text cords to kind of affect the UVs. However, uh, for now, they're just set to one, but you can always come in here and change those. And you see, you kind of get a different um, look here. So we might want something like that um, for now for this. So we'll look at what that looks like. Um, the next thing is I'm actually running this through a noise here so that it's not just this, but wherever it crosses this noise, it's actually uh, affecting what the texture looks like. So if I change the direction that it's going, um, we start to get some different looks as well. So a lot of uh, things you can play with in here. I don't have these set to parameters now, but um, if you grab this from uh, my Patreon, I'll have the parameters set up to where you can just kind of change these as you want inside of an instance. Um, but for now, I'm kind of just going to scroll through this. So if you want to create it on your own, uh, you can just kind of copy what I have here. Uh, I'm just going to go through this kind of slow. Um, the other thing that we're doing right through here is once we get this image out, um, you see how it's kind of faded on the edges. Um, I'm doing that here with these, uh, this mask here. So I've got um, this kind of gradient fade off the top and then I'm doing the opposite on the bottom. So um, just so it doesn't, or so it looks like there's, it's coming kind of faded, fading in. See what that looks like and kind of play with that. And then over here on all these, I also have the, uh, actual material nodes set to translucent and default lit. Um, again, kind of speeding through this, but uh, you can feel free to pause it and just copy what I have here uh, for your own project. So pretty simple there. So let's go ahead and apply this and then let's create a material instance. And then let's, um, uh, again, the only thing I have here is the color, but I will have this changed for whenever we get um, this in onto my Patreon. So it'll be uh, more customizable. Let's go see what this one looks like on our character. Um, some things we can do uh, is change our, some of these numbers that I had just changed, um, setting these back to normal UVs. We'll give us a little different look. So there's a lot of uh, parameters in there that you can play with and uh, get a lot of different looks. The last one we're gonna look at is I created a multi-color um, overlay. This is gonna be that same setup as the other one. Uh, the difference here is I have a Fresnel that is uh, lurping between, or I'm lurping between two colors using a Fresnel as my alpha. Um, switching these colors around, you get different cool looks. Uh, for now, let's look at Let's just apply this one to our um, character real quick. And I'm just gonna leave that one how it is for now. And then we'll look at some differences. So you can see the Fresnel uh, giving kind of the outline of that blue, that red color. Um, and the inside of this, we can uh, kind of change quite a bit about this as well. Uh, maybe we want it to be green and red. So you see some of that red in there and the green. Um, or maybe we want it to be green and blue. So replace that red with blue. Changing our 
um, the base reflection refraction and our um, exponent will change the way or how much it fades. So a lot of cool ways to get uh, good looks with that as well. And these are just the textures that I'm using, really using uh, a lot of different textures. You can get pretty cool looks on here. Um, it doesn't have to look just like this, and maybe this isn't even what you want. But adding this underneath uh, some of those Niagara systems that we've set up where you can get some pretty cool looks as well. So that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to grab the free textures from my Patreon if you want to use those, or feel free to create your own to get a different look. The full project files are going to be available to exclusive members on my Patreon. I offer for full support on my project files for exclusive Patreon supporters, where you can request features and updates to specific projects, as well as support if you have any issues uh, implementing those into your project. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future episodes. Until next time, happy developing, and I'll see you in the next one.